Interpreting Data. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our second business meeting. You may remember our last special guest. Well, he is back again today to talk to us about interpreting data. Please welcome once again, Mr. Grafferson. Hi there, did you miss me? I'm back. I'm Mr. Grafferson. Last time we went over how to represent data. Well, today we're going to be interpreting data. Once again, we'll be looking at data in frequency tables, dot plots, and stem and leaf plots. But this time we're going to be using those representations to answer questions and solve problems. Let's check it out. In this problem, the table shows the number of siblings that each student in Mr. Mack's class has. How many students have two or more siblings? First, we want to identify how many people have two or more siblings. Those would be these values. We have seven, three, and one. If we add them together, we get 11. So our answer is 11 students. Let's check this one out. Kobe recorded the number of minutes it took him to run the mile each day for seven days. He used a stem and leaf plot to organize the data. Based on the data, what is the total amount of time in minutes Kobe ran these seven days? Let's take a look at the key. The key suggests that the stem represents the ones place and the leaf represents the tenths place. So our numbers in the stem and leaf plot should be nine and two tenths, nine and five tenths, nine and six tenths, 10 and 1 tenth, 10 and 2 tenths, 10 and 2 tenths, and 11 and 0 tenths. Now we add them all together. We get 18 tenths, so we write the 1 here and the 8 here. Drop down the decimal, then add up the 1's place, and we get 69 and 8 tenths. So our answer is 69 and 8 tenths minutes. Don't let the fun stop, let's try another one. The dot plot shows the number of pets each student in Mr. Wynn's class has. The table is missing information for the number of students who have two pets. The number of students who have two pets is double the number of students who have four pets. How many students have two or more pets? We know that the number of students who have two pets is double the number of students who have four pets. Since five students have four pets, the number that have two would be five times two, which equals 10. That means 10 students have two pets. Next, we wanna add how many people have two, three, or four pets. So we would add 10 plus one plus five. We get a total of 16 students. Thank you for allowing me to teach you all about data. Have a great day.